Hello everyone, I am Paul with Tango Gyro and I am here today to try to answer some of your um, frequently asked questions about our machines. So, here we go. Um, one, of the, uh, one of the questions that constantly is asked of me is what type of pre-rotation mechanisms we use on our machines. And, uh, in simple terms, it is an electromechanical setup. So, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the entire pre-rotation mechanism. So, here we go. Let's start. As you can see right now, on the table, this assembly right here is the... Uh, I guess is the main part of the pre-rotation mechanism. This is the uh, belt tensioner assembly. This is located on the uh, redrive on or the gearbox, as some of you would like to call it. Um, and the way it works is this would be mounted directly onto the gearbox, and there will be a belt that goes from this pulley around the gearbox. It's uh, around the pulley on the gearbox itself. And with the uh, actuation of this arm right here via a cable, this will actually tighten the uh, belt and will actually send the power from the redrive pulley all the way here. And from here it will go via this shaft to this little uh, transition box. This is uh, made by a company called Madler out of Germany and I'm sure I'm mispronouncing them but this is what I can do and um, basically the way it works is oh my goodness let's see there we go uh, once again what happens is when this is the way it's set up. I'm sorry, it's kind of difficult to see right now, but once this arm is, act is actuated and the belt is tensioned, this pulley starts rotating, which in turn sends the power to the gearbox or to the, uh, to the uh, rotor head. Sorry. But uh, there, is, there is no uh, reduction or any type of compensation on this little gearbox right here so this is a one-to-one uh, -one direct drive it's, uh, it's very efficient it works it works actually quite well for what we have to do so let me get a little better angle on this there we go so once again um, this little gearbox is made by a company called Modler There we go. So yes, this is uh, this actually sends the power directly to the uh, rotor head. And for those that are uh, curious as to what the actual rotor head looks like, well, I have I have one to show you guys. So here we go. This is our rotor head. It's kind of difficult to see. Let me get this in the shot right here. There we go. Uh, so, yes, this is our uh, rotor head. This chunk right here, the tower, is made out of a solid uh, piece of billet aluminum that is uh, machined. Um, the rotor head itself operates on two pretty large size uh, ball bearings, which is uh, which provides for a substantial number of hours of continuous operation without the need of uh, without the need of much servicing or replacement. So, uh, right here in the tower, we have the uh, teeter bolt, which, if I can get this thing off right here, there we go. The uh, T 
cedar bolt is actually uh, held in the uh, tower block by a set of uh, needle tie bearings. Let me get a slightly better view of this. There we go. And once again, as I've said, it's kind of difficult to see from that angle, but there are uh, needle bearings inside of this. Now, as I uh, just previously mentioned, it is an electromechanical setup. So I'm sure one question you might be asking right now is, well, where's the electrical part? Well, the electrical part is right over here. This is what the actual electrical component of this electromechanical pre-rotator looks like. This is a simple uh, solenoid. I believe this is used for uh, actuation of automotive door locks. So this is what actually uh, activates the Bendix inside the rotor head and pops it out. And I will show that to you right here. So, we have the Bendix right over here, where my finger is pointing at, and the mechanical premise of this is, this is the arm that actually uh, actuates the Bendix itself, and this is what is hooked up to the little solenoid, so when you press a button, it extends this, popping the Bendix in, and therefore sending the power to the rotor head. It's a relatively simple, yet a pretty clever piece. It works uh, extremely well, very efficient, and to be perfectly honest, I haven't had a single problem with it yet. So, for what it's worth, um, this is a pretty heavy duty, pretty hefty piece of uh, welding and machining and well just engineering overall so this is exactly what we're offering this is uh, this is what goes on our machines so I really hope that I was able to answer some of the questions for you guys um, if you have any more please feel free to uh, send your questions to me via Facebook uh, you can find me at Tango Gyro or please feel free to check us out on the web at www.tangogyro.com and you can send your questions via that way. So, hope to hear from you soon, guys. Take care.